Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Guild Wars 1 Let's Play. We're here, chilling, Sunspear Raid Hall. Having to continue with our, uh, having Cormier just got back and basically declared war on Corna. We now have, uh, war preparations, so, uh, let's get to it. Recruit training. I hope you have a strong stomach. Dokora and Kasa are preparing battle plans. The current assignment is that we don't have enough support ships to stage successful assault. That's to say, once we arrive at our destination, we may not get back. Cormier is waiting in the plains of Jaren to brief you. There's much work to be done in terms of recruiting and training. Make sure everything is done in a timely manner. Are you ready? So it looks like we're going to war with Corner to save the world. Just a, another day in the office, as they say. <laughs> uh... Here we go. Weird. Oh, she's back here. Let's go to Commodon. I'm not sure how many of these quests we're going to do in this episode, to be completely honest with you. Right, here's Cormier and some Sun Spear recruits. Spear of Gaggle, you've done well in my absence. Tell me what you know of Nightfall and of Abaddon. It's good you are here. We must strike quickly and with overwhelming force. The Corn troops are no match for the dullest Sunspear recruit. With the element of surprise, we can topple them in one fell swoop and end their treacherous reign of Varish also. I have no doubt we will win this upcoming war, but before we launch our attack, our troops must be battle ready. Speak to Narashi and help train her new recruits. See you. We've uncovered a connection between the Corsairs and Gerald Kayat. She's a worshipper of a deity named Abaddon. Deity. Deity. Indeed, I have learned much of my trials and can tell you much more. Once there were not five gods, but six. The six was Abaddon, imprisoned by his siblings in the realm of torment. Stories say that one day Abaddon will break the confines of his cell and release terror upon the land, an event only known as Nightfall. And Kayet worships this monster? She does. So does Varish. Unless we stop her, she will bolster the power of her dark god and eventually unleash fury upon the world. Times of the essence, we must attack Varish's fortress in Gandara, capture her, and bring her to justice. Otherwise, you leave, we will follow. You do not fight alone. All right. Trace the recruits. These recruits were handpicked from Istani's best. Some old members of the Shore Watch having bloodied their swords defending villages from Corsair raids. Others are fresh off the farm. We must motivate them before sending them into battle. Teach them to wield their scythes for reaping, not grain, but pain. We have reports of a group of scale that have entered the plains of Jaren. Your job is to lead the recruits to the south and kill the scale to give them a taste of battle. Report to Antioch when you're done. Antioch? Where are they? Looks like they're just down this way. Okay. Not too bad. No. Oh. I have my weapon. Okay. Oh. Bring all these recruits. I need to remember to be on the lookout for better weapons for everybody as well. Um, as we go through the campaign. Oh. Right here, the scale. Let's get us some scale. dead. They're sleeping. Alright. Come on. Okay. Alright, now we can return. I think if we map back, it actually, like, fails. This is one of those weird missions where if you map back, you essentially have to end up redoing the whole story. Not the whole story, the the quest, so you gotta make sure you actually run back to the quest objective instead of just zoning and running out. There's a couple like that in this campaign. Um, I talked about one earlier when we were meeting Milani for the first time. Um, this is one of the other situations where it can happen. Hmm. 
Nice job on training those recruits. Do you like big weapons? Roja has me arming these boats with enormous catapults. Like the ones in Shabak. Things are going to get bloodier in these parts. I can't wait. See Roja if he needs your help with anything. Ah, uh, hi there, Spear of Gagalai. Specialized in de developing cutting-edge Sun Spear technology. Ha, get it? Ahem. <laughs> Just wait and see. I've got a few promising projects in the works. Help Kuruma can secure more support boats. We've had enough troops... There, but not enough for a return trip if anything catastrophic happens. Best not to think of the worst, but Cormier has a tendency to overreach. Right now, my mind's on other matters, like figuring out ways to increase the range of our catapults. Restore to Castelli and Puba for more orders. All right, back to you, Timon and Puba. Nice work with the recruits. Continue honing your leadership skills and your enemies won't stand a chance on the battlefield. Preparations are almost ready. The assault begins soon. Wind and water. We need to stir the winds before our journey. Captain Bodar has hired a bunch of local sails, but before they embark, they must perform a ritual of the winds to Duena, the goddess of light and air. Otherwise, the passage to Corner will be a slow and difficult one, if nigh impossible. He's waiting for you in Kondu Hamlet. Return with blessing or don't return at all. All right. Let's go get some, uh, some divine intervention. Oh, this is the guy that I literally looked at earlier, and I said, I wonder what quest this guy is used for. He's used for this quest. The sea is a harsh mistress. Only the Estonian Corsair dares sail her at this time of year. Treat the sea right, and you'll make it to shore. Whether your ship lands with you is another matter. The winds are weak this time of year, so we'll need divine assistance if we're to cross the channel in time. We must seek Duena's intervention to summon the winds and currents to spirit us. To the port of Kendara, my Sarahs are ready, preparing the ceremony and the Matani keys. They will need your protection to complete the ritual. Alright. Let's go defend some sailors. Yarg. Mimiti. But yeah, our time on Istan is uh, slowly coming to an end. Going to attack Kendara, which is what uh, this, this thing over here is, is Kendara. But, uh... I kind of prefer uh, this start to factions from like a story perspective. It feels like we're not rushing around as much. It feels like you spend a lot more time getting to know the place before venturing out. Still, are, uh, still, I would almost argue too fast. Like, I would almost prefer even more zones in Istan, getting to know some unique Istan problems before going out. But then again, I would just like an excuse to play more of this game, so... I would absolutely hate it, though, when I was trying to get my 50th character to the end of this game, though, so I could do the end game. Uh, that's for certain, though. But for a one-time playthrough, I would really enjoy a nice, really long, like, you know. Even if it ends up doing a whole bunch of weird side missions. I don't know. I like I like long games, even if they have you do some random semi-tedious stuff. Like, as long as it feels like it's different and doing some other stuff. Uh, here's some Jins. So they're praying to the Duena. You can kind of see it. There's actually a Duena statue up there on top of the uh, on top of this platform here. Looks like we gotta protect these sailors while they do uh their they biz nasty. Interesting that the water gin are dervishes, but anyway. I really like the the way the Jin look in this game. Alright, let's make sure the Jin are fighting us, not the Not the Sailors. Because they're dervishes, they actually do AoE damage, so you wanna be careful stacking up too much. Alright. Kinyakaya. We are the storm, we are the calm, we are the wind. May the tides carry you to safety, and may the winds fail your sails. The, blast the blessings of wind and water are yours alone. Alright. Easy peasy. Wait, hands you the blessing of wind and water. Oh, it's like a little 
little thing. Botar walks with Duena. His love of the seas is wide and deep. I only hope Cormar can negotiate an additional landing craft, or all might not be f all might be for naught. Or preparations. We don't have the numbers of our enemies, therefore we must compensate in other ways. Dor Doug Coro and Cormier propose we seek the help of the original Sunspear Guard that served alone in the days of the primeval dynasty. They are in turn to the tomb of the three worthies in Latende Bog. Hopefully time has been kind to their restless spirits. Can we count on you? It must be done. Alright, let's go get some ghost. Some spoopy ghosts. Add that, add that, add that. Very important here. Make sure you go into the explorable area for these kinds of missions, not the actual mission mission. Very important. But yeah, we've explored a good chunk of, uh, there's a good chunk of Istan that's is actually, like, explorable. Like, all the way up here is, it's like just this little area here, this little area here, and this area down here that isn't, like, explorable. Everywhere else is explorable, which is pretty cool. That's one thing I did like about, um, the, um, the beginning area in, uh, factions is that you can explore most of the map. And I like that. I don't know. I like it when, like, the map is actually, like, relatively close to what you would expect as you explore it, right? Like, even if it kind of makes the area look a little bit smaller, there's another, like, a bit of satisfaction from the fact that it's, like, all right, basically everything that's on the map you can eventually go to. That's something I kind of felt like Prophecies didn't do super well. There's just, like, a lot of dead space on the map that almost makes the game feel smaller than it actually is. Whereas, like, this kind of has the almost inverse effect where this area feels small, but, like, realistically, if I was to walk from, like, here to here, it would probably take me, like, you know, like 10, 15 minutes. Which isn't that long, but considering it's just walking, let alone fighting and all that other kind of stuff. And how much, like, little things are between there. I don't know. I've regained an appreciation for, like, games with large game worlds and stuff. Uh, I've been playing some, uh, some Honkai Star Rail on stream. That game is pretty relatively on ra an on-rails experience, excuse the pun, haha. <laughs> um, but the game, the other game made by that company that's popular that I play is Genshin Impact, and that game has a much more open world experience, and... I don't know how much I, like, actually just enjoyed just, like, the fact that there's just a big world you can run around and kind of explore and, like, just do random stuff in, even if it's nothing important. Like, how much better that makes the game actually, like, feel. I think that's also why I like MMOs a lot is because you get a lot of that feeling of it's just, like, a world you can run around in, even if there's no, like, logical reason to do, to go to a lot of places or anything. It doesn't necessarily matter. The fact that you can, the fact that there's, like, a lot to, like, just see, just random little stuff they put in there just because. It's, I don't know. That's what makes the game feel fun. It makes the game feel cool. I don't know. A little, a little random aside. Checking the spears of the termites. Grab our gold. Alright, let's continue on. I think it's down this way. Yeah, it's down this way. Let's talk to these old sun spears. Y'all were a pain in the butt to find, you know that? Um. Oh, Neil. <laughs> Through war we achieve peace. Now is your time to shine, Sunspear. Fight. You may arm yourself like a Sunspear, but can you fight like one?
Cormier may, may be the greatest spear marshal ever, but I would have loved to challenge her while my body was still full of life. Oh, well, let our voices be your armor against the darkness. We have foreseen the day your spear marshal will call upon us for aid. Know this, kind and noble emissary whiz. Time to storm Gendara. You and your brethren will not be alone, and every battle cry and every faded step will be your armor when your iron buckles and your spear when steel fails. But first you must prove your worthiness. Well, yeah, we already proved our worthiness. So. I wonder if they intended you to talk to him first and then do the fight, but eventually they decide against that, and that dialogue is just kind of left over. Weird. I'm uneasy in the presence of the spirits, but the thought of charging headlong into Varesh's blade has given me pause. The Sun Spears began as the Sun Spear Guard under Queen Nadijeb, and with their aid, we cannot fail. We have the aid of wind and water and the blessings of the original Sun Spears. Guard a fresh new batch, uh, a fresh batch of newly minted sun spheres, and the assistance of heroes from across the sea. Cormier is mustering forces in Shindurin Fields. Once she reaches the rank of sun spear captain, or gain for sufficient experience, help her rally the troops. Indeed, time for action is nigh. All right, let's see this for a second. I am, thank God, I am a sun spear captain. I thought I'd have to go grind off screen. But you know what? Actually, we're going to start the next episode with that rousing speech into the mission. Um, I want to thank you all for coming out. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.